Joe and Simon Show, BBC Radio London. Now, uh, Comedy Notes is a new monthly musical comedy night. It takes place in uh, the Rosewood Hotel in Hoburn. I'm delighted to say we have we, we have not one, but two guests who join us live in the studio. One is not going to say much, but my goodness me, you're going to hear him. Uh, Joy Carter is a musical comedian. Uh, you're a writer and you're an actress. Yes. So if yes. that wasn't enough... You, you're also here at 7.45 on a Saturday morning, so welcome. Thank you for coming in. Tell us about what you do. Yes, um, I'm a musical comic. I've been doing straight stand-up for over 10 years. But I also play instruments, hence Bertie, my flute. And the problem with being is, um, a musical comedian is that people often accuse you of hiding behind your instrument. So I thought I'd bring Bertie in to say, can you see me in front, behind my instrument? Yes, you can. Just, just, only just. <laughs> only, only just, because you're very slender. <laughs> yeah, uh, you are slender. Can I, I'm, it's, I'm, um, flutes are beautiful, aren't they? I love seeing musical instruments close up, actually, because you often don't get that opportunity. And I, looking at that, guess that, was new from or did you inherit it or did you buy it second hand yeah Bertie is new that's why I'm very proud of him Beautiful. as concert flute and um and flute players we're always sort of near the back in an orchestra yes. and you know I, I really wanted to make the flute a bit more exciting a bit more sexy a bit more 21st century so I wanted to get the flute into my show which is mad and I watched Anchorman a million times I'm like I want fire I want to play that jazz flute I was going to ask you who inspired <laughs> you for the flute because you know often you're forced as a as a youngster to play I don't know if you ever went through this in the uh, piano in merrily we no, roll no, along I was thinking actually of the recorder oh yeah the recorder but I used to once... flick spit with my recorder sorry it's a horrible how nice. thing to do how nice that's and what that, we used to do across the classroom. Across the, across, now, the, the, the act you do there, just explain without obviously giving it all away, what is it? What inspires you? What is what is at the heart of your comedy? Um, I am an extreme flautist. So oh, nice. what I want to do is play beautiful classical music and take it out of context. Um, so I'm playing the flute, but doing other mad things as well. Last month when we opened, at Ro it's actually called Rosewood London, we had Rainer Hirsch come down with his amazing nine-piece orchestra. Very gifted, amazing um, talent. Um, he's also a composer, so I got to play Bertie the Flute to Swan Lake, which is a mad piece that I do. I'm the original Black Swan. <laughs> <laughs> but a kind of more of a kind of a badass. Can I say that on the radio? Oh swan. dear, we're not okay. allowed to say that word. Well, I apologise for that. Um, kind of a, an attitude swan. Um, um, and and so that was really great fun. Rather than just have backing tracks, to actually be able to play with an orchestra. Can you so, explain this Rose Hill? Did you say the Rose Hill Hotel? Rosewood. Yes. Rosewood Hotel. Rosewood London. And yes. I, so I've not been there before, Simon. You have, haven't you? Yes, I've been in there. And it's um, it's Kingsway. Yeah, I think it used to be the Prudential Building. Oh. Uh, I mean, years ago, ah. Prudential. Assurance or insurance assurance. It's a, it's a it's very it's a very posh hotel actually. It's beautiful. It's, mm. it's a it's only two years old. It's a five star hotel. So I really wanted to create an environment that you could come as a musician and as a comedian to a beautiful night. I'm um, a friend of mine is um, an award winning opera singer. So she's come down as well. So so it starts at six o'clock. You can come down to some amazing opera and mu musical theatre songs. She she opens it at six. Have a glass of champagne. Um, prices start from twenty. Two pounds, um, and then the show starts at seven, and we are just having fun with our instruments because the flute is a little bit Billy No Mate. So I, I will you <laughs> play a no bit friends. for us? Yes, yes. Oh, fantastic! Right, we've never had a flauntist, have we? At this hour we in have. the morning, no, in no. here. So here we go. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful. That is our wake-up call. Bit of greed. Bit of greed. Can, I, can I ask you a question? In terms of comedy, when I when I, I used to learn, there were two, three musical instruments I learned. One was the violin, one was the piano, and one slightly later on in my school career was, was, was the drums. And we were told by all of our teachers the three things. One, you have to respect the instrument that you have. You've got to take things very seriously because you must practice. And you must almost become an extension of the instrument. And what you've done is you've gone with comedy. You've, you've, you've done everything they tell us. Never Don't enjoy it too much because you've got to study hard. Don't perform it too much because it's all about the sound you have, not the performance. And you, So, so where, did the, where did the love of comedy come from? I've, I think I'm born a comedian. I mean, I, 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 you know, I wanted to do comedy. Like so many of the comics, I had a quite a challenging 
challenging tra- childhood, um, which is why also this is shown on the 8th of November. It's also to celebrate life and also adoption because we've had, um, that's my story. Mm. So I think when you've had a challenging life, it's also a way of putting back and um, and, and of wanting to make it sh- change the way you think. Because you've got to be very um, brave to do stand-up. Yeah, comedy is about bravery. It's, bravery. it's also about creativity and about engagement. And it's, a, it's about finding your inner you, your inner voice, and expressing it. And, 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 and through music and comedy, that's another way that I can express maybe sort of inner challenges, inner joys. And my, my, I, I, I did the Edinburgh Festival this year with my um, show Aspects of Joy. So I really am excited to have this, uh, this opportunity because it's like a residency. So I can work with other great com- com- comics um and so are you there ever so you're the founder of it yes, aren't you yeah. so you're there all the time and you host it as well yeah, as, as i host perform. it i booked i booked the acts like wow. we've got mel moon for example coming um she she also is coming with her a little section of her award-winning show from the edinburgh festival called sick girl um and she explores um illness but through comedy and music and song so, so she's coming down as it's well it's once a month this so the next one is going to be the 8th of no- november yeah. as you say uh 22 pounds then the 13th of december the 10th of january if you want to find out more just do a search online for comedy notes at, or indeed you can pop by uh rosewood london joy thank you so much for coming thank you in. Great thank to you, see you. Thank, thank you for, you for playing for us <laughs>